Hello guys and today we will see how we can upload a file using PHP from an HTML form and save the details about the file in the PHP MyAdmin or MySQL database. Okay, so let's get started. This is our form. It's pretty basic and uh, we just we just have a title here and a body in which we have a form and there's an input type file and there's an input submit button uh, with type submit. The value is upload and this is just some margin that I've added and so we have action of the form set to upload.php method is post so whenever you are sending a file the method should be post and the encoding type is set to multi-part form slash form data so what this means is whatever we are uploading will be sent in multiple fast multiple parts because a file cannot be sent in one single part it has to be divided into multiple parts and then those parts are uploaded to the server so this is basically the form now let's get started with how we are going to code this in php but, but before that let's see how the form looks like and this is what the form looks like and i choose file and then <clears throat> there are multiple files that we can choose okay now let's code the php part so first of all we need to access or we need access to the database so let's quickly set up our database credentials here since we will be using xamp's php my admin so uh, the server name is localhost. If you have a remote server, you'll have to write remote server's details here. User name is root. Password is empty. I've set no password. And I've created a database called testdb. Okay, so now we have details ready of the database. So let's connect to the database here. It's a good practice to write comments, so as I always say, write comments. <clears throat> and we just pass the details, connection details here. Okay, so now we check if there's any error. If there's an error with connecting to database, we'll just Print that out. What we're doing here is <clears throat> if there's an error while going to the database, we just die. That means uh, whatever is below this will not be executed. We just end the script and we just send this error message connection field and whatever error there is while connecting we just send that message out okay now now let's define the target directory that means the target file directory where the files will be uploaded let's say the file needs to be uploaded to folder called uploads right you need to make sure you have this uploads folder in your uh but i already have it here so you also need to make sure that you have this uploads folder in your project file in your root directory okay now we check if the file was uploaded <coughs> excuse me now if the file is uploaded or sent to the server it has reached the server correctly there is this in php there is this special variable called or special array called file files and it contains a file variable if that is the case right so if this is set and and there is no error If there's an error while uploading the file, it will have something other than zero, an error code other than zero. So what we're doing is we're checking if the file is uploaded, if there is something in this array and the error is zero. So that means we have the file ready and we can move the file to our approach directory. So write the file name. <coughs> name is 
of the file originally while we were uploading it. You can get that using this name, using this variable, all right? And what is our target path? At least where you want to upload the file. So that is target directory and this file name. So we have the full path here. We have to, we have to give the full path of the file that will be uh, that will be used to reach the file after it is being uploaded. After it is uploaded, so that is target directory plus uh, plus dot in case of PHP and file name. <clears throat> so now that we have target path ready, we just move the file to this target path. So that means moving file to target path. And again, check if it can be moved successfully. So we write move uploaded file uh, and file name and destination. So the file name is we already know what the file name is. That is dollar file name, right? And we know what the destination is. Or rather than this, what what we need to do is whenever there is a file upload, it is first moved to a temporary directory, right? So in temporary directory, there's a different name of the file. Instead of this, what we do need to do is not name, but what we write here is TMP name. That is a temporary name. Whenever a file is uploaded, it is assigned a temporary name, and that is the name that we need to use here. So don't make that mistake, all right, guys? And then the destination, we just write the target path. Okay, I missed a spelling here. And yeah, so if it is moved successfully, what we do is <coughs> moved successfully. Now we need to write to the database. All right. So what we do is uh, write details to DB. So we just have a simple insert query that is insert into what is our table's name? Database is. Uh, Let's check what the table's name is here. Uh, it is files. Okay. And database name is testness for db. We need to insert into files. And the columns where we will insert is file name and file path. And what values will we be inserting? We will be inserting these two variables, right? So do is here we write file name comma target this is all there is to the query it's pretty basic pretty simple query and again the query we run this query Well, <coughs> and if it is run successfully, what we do is we just echo file, upload it, and save to else. What we do is Let's just for the error that appeared in the SQL. And so this will echo what the query was so that we can, if there is an error, we can debug it later. And then we can echo BR. We can just, uh, after that, what we can do is error details in error details we can go so if there's an error we will uh, return what sql error was there and what sql query was used and what's the actual error so that we can directly copy this sql and run it in the database or we can do another debugging steps okay <coughs> this is done but what what to do in case we cannot move the file. 
So in that case, we print out another message. They will say error will the file. All right. And if this is the case, we can we can exactly know what the actual error is and we can debug it easier. So that's why we do something like this. All right. And finally, in this error, if I, if we don't have any file here, or if there is an error here, we just go go file not good. All right. Finally, we just close the database connection because if we leave the connection hanging, sorry, if the, if we leave the connection hanging, there might be issues later on too many connection and all that good stuff. Okay, so we have our upload.php ready and we have our index.php ready where we will, uh, where we are sending this file to our upload.php and it is being handled by upload.php. We just move it to our uploads folder and then we insert the details to the database. Okay, let's see if it works. I'll reload this. Let me choose a PDF file here. Let me upload it and it's saying uh, unexpected token in line number 12. So this must be pretty simple to solve. Okay. So what we are doing is if there's a, what what is the issue here? I have a while loop, sorry. I have an if statement and if statement needs to close. Okay, I forgot the semicolon here. <clears throat> As you can see, this, Error might not exactly be, you know, solving to the uh, point to the issue. The issue was there was a semicolon missing, but it shows it shows unexpected token. So sometimes you have to be careful about that also. Okay, now let's continue. Now we have unexpected token if in line number eighteen. Again, I, I'm probably missing out a lot of semicolons because I'm just doing this after coding for Python for a long time. So. Uh, I am forgetting to use semicolons here again. Okay, let's try this again. File upload and save to DB. Yes, this is what we need. Okay, now let's do this again. Choose file. Let's choose a word file this time. Let's upload this and file upload and save to DB. Now let's check our uploads folder here. Let's uh, open finding folder. I'm not finding folder. How do you open this? Okay, let's just go here. And yeah, as you can see, both these things are uploaded here. And once we go to the database and we check this thing, and as you can see that file name and file path, both are here. All right, so now this is not complete, guys. Let's wait for a second. If this helped you, please don't forget to hit subscribe. And also I'm going to be showing how to you can upload multiple files using Ajax or single file using Ajax. So stay tuned for that.